to what's left of RimWorld. Last episode, uh, there was a massacre. There was an elephant and raid-related massacre. We lost Colmea. We lost our prisoner that we had almost recruited, actually. His resistance was fairly low. Whose name? I don't remember. It's like a uh, glue stick or something like that. Anyway, not important. More to the point, everyone's dying of uh, various infections. The Ever Queen there knocked out for the count. She got minor blood loss, but she's more or less back up to uh, up to an acceptable standard there. Right arm damage, but only four points left on most of those. We've got Jerry King. Unfortunately, he has a major infection in his torso, which might just kill him dead. Um, his immunity is 52%. Huh. But the infection is at 71%. Now, I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure 72 is larger than 51. So we are going to need some uh, some heal root pretty quickly. 55% grown. Um, okay, here's the plan. We need medicine, essentially, before everybody dies. Because it looks like Jerry King, honestly, is not long for the world. Now, there is a chance he could survive it. Um, it's a small chance, but it is possible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a trade beacon. I'm going to build an orbital uh, trade beacon. Uh, Com to console and a trade beacon, I should say. Alright, you need to get to work on that immediately because we need that to save young Jerry King's young life. Oh my god, he's got to go all the way over there for some steel. He's got to actually go to the quarry itself for some steel. Medical emergency. Hey, yeah, no shit. Jackie, of course, is one his ex-wife who we spent an episode trying to save. Also has an invader, <laughs> invader, a major infection there in her left lung. That's probably the worst place to get it. Um... The infection is at 62%. Her immunity is at 38%. She also has extreme blood loss as well, which is probably not helping things, let's be frank. So, Elrang, I'm going to have build this stuff up in the hopes that we can eventually do some trading and maybe even try and buy ourselves some medicine and pretty immediately. You have no medicine. What's our food looking like? We have no food left either because obviously Jerry King is in bed from his infection. Jerry King, you're going to have to get up. You have to, you're going to have to start work, my friend. I'm sorry. You have to butcher. You could have just... I mean, we've got plenty of elephant meat, though, so that we've got that going for us, which is nice. I'm going to have him cook at least a few meals so that we can keep the colony going. Alrang, where are you right now? Oh, he's consuming some meal. Now, now, that takes a while, because Alrang also doesn't have a jaw. remote has gone a bit bad, eh? Uh, Protons working on the orbital trade beacon. All right, is there anyone we can call? Cannot use him capable of talking. This won't he? Um, right, there's no trade ships right now, but some could turn up. Now, this is interesting. Dromedaries join. So that's, uh, Dromedary is a camel, by the way. Um, are they, have we genuinely just got two pet camels for free? We actually do. Okay, incredible. Uh, let's get these guys home. And we might just end up turning them into lovely camel soup. Uh, Jerry King, are you okay? Have a queen time to carry him back to bed. Oh, shit. Um, he didn't even finish any meals. Okay. Who's our next best cook? That's the real question. Jerry King and Jackie are completely out there. Um... 4 out of 20, 4 out of 20, 4 out of 20. Oh, fuck me. Um, okay, here's the plan. We need to tidy up the kitchen area because everybody's going to get food poisoning from it being so filthy. So, Everqueen, you're on cleaning duty uh, and only cleaning duty right now. And then after that, you're on cooking duty too because Jerry King is out for the count. So, if you can just go ahead and uh, prioritize cleaning at least the kitchen area, if nothing else. No, no, no. Don't feed him raw meat. The man needs actual food. Uh, consume elephant meat. No, 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 no. Look. Why can't I prioritize her cooking? Um. Why can't, why can't she cook? How about now, though? No? Why, why would she not cook? Have I, have I pressed the wrong one? No, she's definitely allowed to cook. But I can't prioritize it manually. I haven't just restricted that to, I've restricted it to just Jerry King. There we go. Okay, fair enough. That makes a lot of sense. Let's untick those things. Jerry King was the only person allowed to cook anyway. Uh, we'll just remove those from the bill, and now we'll actually try and get her to cook anything. Now, she's probably going to fuck this up quite massively, because she's not the best cook. Just one, is there not a million things you could be doing better than that? Let's have him clean up the house. Um, seeing as right now, the whole thing is covered in vomit and uh, blood. <laughs> Prioritize cleaning up blood, for the love of God, please. Now, our rank is researching. Oh, God, the camels actually came inside, you fucking shit camels. Uh, just, just get out. Oh, unrestricted. You know what? We should probably just set an animal area. So we go ahead and expand allowed areas. Manage area. New area. Wait. Aren't animal areas separate? I think you actually have to mark them from the... Oh, no. They just go by regular areas now. Okay. So area two is for the for the camels. So we'll just have them sort of hang around Waltney World as uh, our number one attraction. We have camels. And we have um, vomit and some beds. Three beds available for guests. Right. Camels out. Camels, fuck off. There we go. Right. Good. 
Does one is cleaning up the house. Everqueen is cooking some meals. How are we doing? Medical emergency. Jackie and Jerry are both on death's door right now. Oh, fucking hell. Infection extreme. 63%. Her immunity... Oh, so... Uh, oh, the actual infection is at 81%. Her immunity is at 51%. Jerry King, though, his infection is at 100%. Oh, Christ. His immunity is at 70 We may see the end of our boy, Jerry King. Jerry can no longer work on Butcher Creature. Jerry has died. An infection caused Jerry King to die. Well, as, as we know, Jerry King cannot truly die. Jerry King will live on. Because Jerry King, the, the, actual, the actual man, the canonical Jerry King, is just simply a being that inherits the bodies of, of others. So we will build him the finest sarcophagus and a grave, a pyramid, if you will, for Jerry King to finally ascend. Kind of thought this might happen. All right, then. Um, Evergreen is cooking meals. Alrang, go and work on Jerry's sarcophagus. Let's, let's get his dead body out of here. I think we're going to lose Jackie as well. That raid was brutal. Like, absolutely brutal. Okay, this one, he's done it. Um, Evergreen, bury Jerry King. This is for a sign colonist, Jerry King. Wow, what a sad day in, in RimWorld. Our first one of the main four to die. What were we, like 10 episodes in now? That's not too bad, but honestly, goodbye, Jerry. Ever chosen, got Evergreen, Gunthruda, created this wooden sarcophagus. The title is Isolation for Jerry. An engraving on this sarcophagus portrays Jerry King mutilating Jesse Jess Spence with a club with quick and efficient movements. Jerry looks distressed at what he's doing. The lower part of the image is dominated by two Ps. The image contrasts decency with terrorism. This illustration <laughs> relates to Jerry slaying Jess in close combat on the 11th of September. Easy come, easy go. Goodbye, Jerry King. You built this colony, and your legacy will live on. Now, the issue is we haven't got anybody who's good at building. Um, or much, to be honest with you. Who is good at building besides that? Actually, Elrang? Oh, shit. Oh, Diswalny's good at building now. Excellent. Starvation? Jackie is starving because we have no nurses, I assume. Oh, God. Um... Oh, that's a little bit annoying, eh? Does somebody want to take care of her? Uh, prioritize feeding Jackie. For the love of God, does won't he? Feed your wife. Or ex-wife, I should say. Don't let her die. Now, what's she looking at in terms of infection? 73. Okay, so she's at 97% infection, 61% immunity, and another raid. Wow. Okay, this is one man. Evergreen. Uh, how's your health doing these days? She's actually only got three issues, and there are any bruises. Uh, gunshots that have been patched up as well, so aren't going to cause her any issues. Get that gun ready. Let's avenge Jerry King. This is this is for this is for Big J. This poor man is never gonna know what fucking hit him. She's got trivial malnutrition, sir. Jackie has died. Cause? Infection. <sighs> Build another sarcophagus. Now, I won't normally do this for all. I'm not gonna do it for Colmeyer, because who gives a fuck about Colmeyer? Um, for characters that had a relation to the colony, this is Diz Walton's wife. I feel like you can build his, or ex-wife. You can build his ex-wife a sarcophagus, I think. Alright, Diz. Now, let's see if keep an eye on the Everqueen. Get behind this corner. Kill him dead. He hasn't seen us yet. We got the drop on him. Nice. What do we hit him? Left leg. Hit him with a gun. Oh, this is a fucking showdown right here. My god, if we lose the Everqueen as well, this series is, we're, we're over. We're done for. Oh, shit. Come on. He's bleeding out, though, to be fair. Death in 22 hours. He's going to get slower the more that wound does him in. Oh, nice. Was that another hit? Nope. Still nothing. It's just more blood pouring out of them. Come on, Everqueen. I thought you were a better shot than this. Uh, Bio shooting 16? Jesus. And she can't even hit him from there. Oh, she's just been hit. My God. Uh, Okay, she, it was just a crack. The flat jacket actually sucked up the bullet. It just broke her rib instead. Okay, that one actually made it through. She's been shot in the leg. Are we actually going to watch the end of Everqueen here and now? Please don't do this. Everqueen, you can survive. I believe in you. <laughs> this is the worst shot I've ever fucking seen in my life. Um, you know, we'll come back to this in, in about four hours or so. This one needs going to tidy up. Let's assign this to uh, Tantrum Elrang. Elrang's having a tantrum. Probably because his jaw's hanging off. Uh, we're going to sign that to Jackie. There we go. And we'll have Diswalty. Diswalty, my friend. Bury your wife. Don't strip it. No, just bury her. Oh, hang on. Is he not set to... Oh, he can't haul. So actually, no one can bury her. 
Um, Aurang's going on a tantrum. He's smashing the comms console. He's gone mad. He's got his gun out and he's smashing the comms console. How's the other queen doing? She killed him dead. Thank fuck for that. Um, what's he wearing right now? Double strand button down t-shirt. Now, I think the other queen can wear that because she's a psychopath. So, I don't think she actually cares if it belonged to a dead man. Wow, I thought we were going to lose the other queen too then. Um, strip him. Go and wear that t-shirt because that t-shirt is very valuable. Um, force wear that. There we go. It's going to be a little better than uh, whatever she had on there. Uh, do you want to at least pick up something else while you're on your way back? Nice. Okay, she's going to carry back the uh, the auto pistol there too. Excellent. Aurang has smashed the comms console to bits. And now he's going to try and eat some dinner. Emphasis on try. What's wrong with him? Why is he so sad? Um, Drag King Gluette died, which he's happy about. Col two colonists died. Colonists left unburied. Look, hang on. Okay, Everqueen's on her way back to deal with it. What else is freaking him out? Um, ravenously hungry again because his jaw's hanging off. That's probably something to do with that. Apparently he's recreation deprived, but oh, he has one hour less of recreation than everyone else, and I'm not entirely sure why. Is this a gift from the gods? A rhinoceros has become tame. They've named it Aspen. It's a rhino? We know that we can't name it Aspen. That's a stupid name for a rhino. You are going to be called. Let us rename him. Uh, how, how's it I do that again? We go to, uh... Ah, there we are. Training. Click this button. No Aspen. You are going to be called Prince Rhino. Uh, the elephant. elephant. No, just Prince Rhino. You guys complained that he wasn't in the series, and there he is. It's taken a while. He replaced Jerry King in the series. And maybe this is the spirit of Jerry King that has possessed this rhino to come back and join us. Um, my rhino friend, you can join us actually in the home area though, because you are pretty great. Now, we want to be able to use this guy in battle. Yeah, definitely. Let's train him in being able to uh, release him in combat. Holy shit, we got a bet rhino. That's unbelievable. Actually, one of you in the comments pointed this out to me, and I never noticed that. You can just link it to the nearest bed. Which is very, very handy because any other uh, bathroom-related items in the same room will also link to that. Which is very, very cool. So we can actually designate them particular bathrooms. Now, I've also got another mod enabled called Lock. Which allows only those colonists to enter the room. So say we could take uh, Diswalny's bedroom door here. And we can uh, set owner. And then we can say Diswalny. The issue with that is it prevents um, cleaners and things like that going inside. So you have to set them to clean their own rooms, which can be a little bit inconvenient if you try and manage it. But it's kind of useful for, um, you know, specifically designated bedrooms that I'm to worry about, you know, linking people to particular beds or anything like that. It's just one button rather than, you know, setting everything manually. Uh, that being said, I'm just going to, you know, clear everything and just let them go about their business. Because honestly, it doesn't matter if they go in each other's rooms at this point. I think it's a little bit late for that. Everqueen, really, really happy. Holy shit. Witness death with blood loss times three. Okay, fair enough. Um, Elrang, he's suddenly better than he's ever been. Okay, it's catharsis. That explains a lot. Unsightly environment. Where is that that he is now that he thinks that's unsightly? Oh, he's actually in Disney World. Did he just milk that camel? I didn't know you could do that. Huh. Okay, well, let's set a, um, a, a camel area. Um, area two. So instead of having animals just roaming freely, we'll actually have a little sort of um, corral for them. I don't know if corral is the right word for, for, you know, livestock, but there we go. Anyway, we'll put them there. That way they can sort of wander around here, and they're also close enough to the base where we can we can milk them freely and actually get something back out of them there. Um, I might as well just say they're allowed in that area. We don't necessarily need to really fence it off either, do we? Because they're, you know, restricted to that. Um, get out of Orkney World. Thank you. You probably traipse rubbish all over the place. Prince Rhino. Holy shit. I <laughs> can't believe that still. Evergreen is fully healed. And we got a wild boar. Why do we keep getting all these animals? Okay, um... We're going to name you Wild Boar. You're going to be called Bobby B. Excellent. And we can have this boy haul, can we? No. Requires trainability advance. We can have him release them in combat. Balls are fucking lethal. Um, as you might know from the fact that, you know, one killed Bobby B. Now, let's bring uh, Bobby B the Wild Boar home. You can come and join Prince Rhino. We need animal beds. Because tamed animals actually can, you know, sleep in beds. You can build them some furniture here and there. So, let's take a look. Furniture. Um, animal bed. Cloth animal bed. That seems like a good plan. We'll have a boar and a rhino sleep in our entrance area. That's unbelievable. So right now, Everqueen is our primary hauler. She's going to be carrying things around. She's going to be moving, you know, shit around from bases that we don't want them to. We don't want there to be. Um, I don't know why she's moving stone blocks from down here. Though. That seems pretty irrelevant. I would prefer it if she was. I was just about to say moving the dead bodies from outside the front door. Then we've got Diswaltney. He's the grower, and if there's nothing to grow or harvest, he'll be mining, constructing, that type of thing. Alright, obviously premium research. Nevergreen, when she's not hauling, will be cooking meals as well. So that there's always this production line going in the base there, which is quite nice. Um, should we get this hauled as well so that doesn't, you know, completely disappear, given that uh, we went to a pretty, pretty hefty amount of work there. It cost us a couple of colonists to actually get the elephant meat. 
So expanding the stockpile area because this is way too small right now. Um, how many blocks do we have? We actually have loads. All right. Let's go ahead and expand that like that. Now, it won't give us much area. What I would like to do is actually dig all this out as well. But for now, this is a pretty a pretty decent size to have for that. I think we're also going to need a roof support as well because that's more than eight blocks distance. So let's go to structure. Let's go just a wooden roof support there and we'll put it there. Right. Cool. All right. Um, we need to have him set to construct more than deconstruct. So actually what we'll do is we'll go deconstruct down to three. And we'll do, do it like that instead. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Dizwalny is apparently praying. <laughs> because given that everybody else has died, what else can he do besides pray at this point? Fair enough, Dizwalny. So he's actually not a bad builder if he's building good uh, quality animal beds. I can't wait to see the rhino and Bobby B sleeping in our hallway. That's going to be so good. Rhino is going through the house eating all of the potted plants. Like he's actually going rows to rows devouring it. And now he's eating some delicious berry meals. What the fuck are you guys doing? Um, I feel like then, okay, we need to set them up a, a proper tamed animal area, if you will. Uh, area one isn't being used. So we'll set area one to be this room here and basically anywhere outside that they want to wander. Just, just in the immediate area of the house so that we know that they're not going to get, you know, lost or attacked or anything like that. Granted, they're a rhino and they're a boar. They could probably, you know, stick up for themselves pretty well. We don't want them on the farms. That's the only issue. To get on the farms, they're going to eat the crops. Now, I think we should probably be fortifying this area here, seeing as we get a lot of enemies through there. Let's build the sewage treatment actually somewhat closer to the base there. And let's uh, dismantle that one. The actual outlet is destroyed already, so we don't really care about that. Let's select all these pipes. Oh, no, it's just disconnected. Um, let's select all these pipes and just go ahead and destroy them. And we'll redo the entire sewage system so that we don't have to have this area opened up to raiders or anything like that. So this won't need, once he's finished his wall there, we'll probably... Oh, he's going to go ahead and finish this whole room first. Um, honestly, this, let's put this on lockdown a second. I'm not bothered about this too much. If you can uh, go ahead and do... No, no, no. Look, cancel that. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Look, my friend. There we go. Okay. Hauling wood to set to tent building. Nice. Let's get those built. And then we'll also have an outlet. Maybe on the other side of the wall. Because it doesn't really matter at that stage if they come in and uh, smash that. Because I'm not really going to mind about one sewage outlet disappearing too much. Alright, excellent. So there is no outlet right now, which we'll fix in a sec. Which means we need to fix it, you know, pretty post-haste so that they can actually still use their bathrooms and stuff. Prince Rhino, did I not actually change their area? What a fool. Um, area 1, that's for aminals. Area 2 is for sort of livestock. Alright, there we go. Sweet. They are bringing in a shit ton of mud as well. Like an absolute shit ton. A literal shit ton, if you will. Um, Everqueen, where are you going? Doing that livestock? Where's this Waltney going? Did you get... Oh, because they're still fucking mining areas. Just warning, you're not allowed to mine anymore. You know what? You're banned. Um, you're causing too many issues, and we need this sewage done, my friend. Prairie and limestone wall. No, I don't need to do that either. Can you... Can we not... Oh, we don't have enough fucking steel. Really? I suppose we wasted it on that console. That outrang went and smashed up like a fool. Um, cancel that one. Just work on getting one sewage treatment done then. There's only three of us now, so we're going to need way less sewage treatment there. No, no, no. Look. Need material steel? Did we not get a refund for that? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Help me. Help me with these heathens. Okay, um, Everqueen, you, my friend, are going to quarry instead. If you've got nothing to do, don't worry about the arena. We need to actually get ourselves up on our feet. It, the arena is paused temporarily until we can fix the issues that we have right now. Um, that needs to take priority over mining. So if you can, go and do that. Mining quarry. There we go. Okay, that should fix our steel issue. Now, that doesn't give you infinite resources or anything. That will only have a certain amount of time before it will be depleted, and then you'll have to pave over it, and then those resources in this area will never respawn. So we'd have to move the quarry somewhere else. It's a little bit tricky to micromanage, but it's a little more balanced than some other mods that add, like, the deep drilling, which were very, very OP. Before the game had its own deep drilling, that is. All right, where is Dizwalny? What's he up to right now? Cleaning dirt. Oh, my God. Is there really nothing better he can do? I suppose not. You know what? If you're just going to clean dirt, Dizwalny, I'd at least prefer you to, um... Go and mine this out instead. Prioritize mining sandstone. Now, we can expand that area now, seeing as it technically is indoors. Right, there is just one area. just looks a little bit of a different color there. Showering with steel shower. All right, the day's over. Refugee chased to the Ascension. A factory worker named Powell calls to you from nearby. He's being traced by tribespeople. You have to fight off one archer. Uh, it, he will offer. He will join us. He will actually join us. I've got to offer him the safety. We need more men. We need more manpower. Welcome aboard, pal. Are you any good at anything? Um, he's actually our best cook. 
Holy shit. Okay, that's good. We've got ourselves a new cook. He hates being intellectual. Oh, wait, but he hates cooking. Are you fucking serious right now? What can you actually do? Um, they can't cook, but they're our best cook. They're not bad at growing. So they're going to take over growing from Diswaltney. They're going to take over all of that from Diswaltney because they have a major passion for it. Which means not only will they love it, but they'll also get very good at it very quickly. So I'm fine to do that. Um, Diswaltney, you can grow as well, but hopefully Powell will have it dealt with if that's their only job. You know what? You're also the cleaner. And we'll set you as hauling for secondary priority there. Um, yeah, you guys should be able to fight fires. I don't know why I turned that off. Oh, because of the lightning storm, I remember. Uh, yeah, that's good. And if you can haul urgently, then definitely do that. Rearming traps, we won't worry about that right now. Same with refueling. Um, not allowed to handle. You're not allowed to train because you're... Oh, actually, you're pretty good at it. You know what? Welcome aboard. You are, are now our new trainer. They have a minor passion for it, so it's probably also worth them doing that as well. Uh, just to take some more pressure off of these guys. Um, and then if you can, you might as well do those things. Again, they have a passion for it, so that's not too bad. Alright, good. That's, that's good. Okay, Everqueen, um, you're actually nearby and ready to go. So you're gonna have to deal with some tribal archer. Pal, go and grab yourself a gun and come and give a hand when you've done that. Have we got a better gun? Oh, an excellent auto pistol. Nice. Go and grab that. Where's Alrang? Is he nearby? He is awake, though, and not doing anything particularly important. Just playing chess. So come and help Everqueen. Where's this archer going to turn up then, I wonder? Uh, they are right there. Oh, Everqueen already starting it off strong with a, a decent shot. A shot in the fucking torso as well, you incredible lady. You're making up for that earlier mistake. Alright, Elrang's going to have to get a little bit closer because obviously he's not using a rifle. Oh, another good shot there. Alright, that should be close enough. Excellent. We're absolutely peppering him. Why couldn't you guys have done this when the raid turned up? I'm not sure. Why are they saving their best combat skills to now? I'm not sure, but they did it. Good work, team. Hey, we got ourselves a new colonist. Powell, we need to name it after somebody. Do we want Jerry King to return? I kind of feel like, oh, and they're an absolute unit. I feel like this is Jerry King reborn. Is this the spirit of Jerry King? Eel skin button-down shirt. Who else do we know that will wear an eel skin button-down shirt? My God, this may be the new spirit of Jerry King. Ferdinand Powell, no longer. You are Jerry King. Incredible. Ferdinand, Jerry, Powell. I know his title is King. Um, I didn't realize you could set them titles. Oh, right, to, to assign them particular things. You could say, mark this guy as, a, as your farmer, and then you know just at a glance that he's your farmer. Hey, that's a cool feature. Although, you are the reborn spirit of Jerry King. Resurrected. There's, why else would he come and specifically join our colony? Why would he run away from his, his tribal brethren, which is the, my headcanon now, to come and join us if this isn't the spirit of Jerry King reborn? It makes so much sense. Seeing as we have way more power than we can use anyway, even with the batteries, uh, what I figured we might as well do then. Oh my god, have they been taking up my steel? No. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct that and use it to work on the septic tank instead. Just because that will actually, you know, re-enable our toilets there. Excellent. Alright, and I don't think the septic tank is never... Okay, it trains 50 liters a day. We'll keep an eye on it. I don't think that's going to get filled. I honestly don't. So we'll keep an eye on that. And I want to re reinforce this wall as well before we really wrap things up. Um, what should we reinforce it with? I mean, we've got limestone blocks. What else have we got? We've got marble blocks. Slate box. Granite strikes me as being the most durable. Um, does it really set mass? Okay, maybe the mass is what's relevant in that case. 1.25. Let's check out marble blocks. 1.25. Maybe, maybe all blocks weigh 1.25 and I'm a fool. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, so granite and marble seem around the same mass, which would imply to me that they're probably just as strong as one another. Yeah. And how many of those have we got? 86. Let's make ourselves some granite walls then to go and uh, block this. So it's five per wall. We had 86. So we can easily build those to start off with. Now, we're going to have to be careful with how they do this, because if you just fill the whole thing, they generally tend to block themselves in very quickly. Welcome, Reborn Jerry King. You're not really good at much. Um, your new form is disappointing at best, but you know what? I feel like you'll be a valuable asset to the team just because we need numbers at this point. That might be a good reason to lock these doors. I'll be honest with you. Just to stop other people disturbing their sleep wouldn't be a bad plan. Anyway, Jerry King's going to play some billiards as his introduction to the colony there. Nice. So, we finished all of the research that we set our to do. The hospital can be built at this point. We've done the vital monitor and the hospital bed, which we should definitely, definitely work on. Because if we'd have had those, our Jerry King's original body would have survived the... Uh, the, the raid, and we might have also kept his wife alive as well. So, 
I think the hospital is the next thing to build. What New World is kind of finished. We need more steel, which, you know, is obviously a, a sort of long-term goal here. Why don't we then? Um, you know what? Elrang needs a draw. Elrang, you've done such good work. We're going to go for um, prosthetics, maybe? Pros prosthetics? Break basic prosthetics? Let's go for that. Uh, where is prosthetics? Um, am I blind? Ah, uh, here we go. Simple prosthetics. There we go. Nice. And then... That will just give him a replacement. It'll be something like 50% efficiency. It won't be very good, but it's better than what he has now, which is essentially just a massive hole in his throat. Bionics are replacements. Those are more or less um, the, the equivalent of working human jaw. So that will give him, that will bring him back up to what he is. Advanced bionics make him slightly better. And then, of course, beyond that still we have, um, uh, there is something beyond that. I don't know where it is, though. Maybe Advanced Bionics are the, the OP one. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, right now we'll go for just the simple prosthetics, and then we'll also go for Bionics too, just so that my lovely boy, Aran, can get himself a new jaw. Now, who is going to be the one that crafts these prosthetics is the real question. Okay, I guess Aran then. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any better, <laughs> it's not it's not that good. We've actually found um, steel in the area that we want to dig out already, so that, that's worked out incredibly well, I think. So let's have you guys go ahead and... Uh, Strip mine that steel out. Um, have I got to cancel it? And then tr try again. Strip mine. Oh, we must already have them all designated. Okay, it's not that much steel then, but it's better than nothing. Um, this Mortney, if you can work... I've got to think of how I want to set this up. So if you can mine, it would be better than working in the quarry. Um, this Mortney's forbidden from mining, so I'm actually going to set him to mining level 2 there. The only reason I didn't want them to do that is because they'll start digging out the arena. So what we'll do to make up for that, we'll cancel the arena for now. That's on the back burner until we've actually got the steel issues dealt with. When we can start drilling for steel and things like that, then we'll be a, a lot more comfortable in, in what we're doing. An elephant has become tame. What is going on? Oh my god, we've got to name it D-Elephant, haven't we? Come on. That's so funny. We had Rhino, now we have D-Elephant. And you know what? We're going to train him in hauling. And we're also going to train him in releasing and rescue. All of these animals get to be trained. Because honestly... The elephant in particular is very, very good because of it can be trained in all of those things. But it's also a fucking powerhouse. It's a damn elephant. Between a damn elephant and a damn rhino, any raiders that turn up are going to get absolutely thwomped. Now, I could get a mod which allows us to give them armor and give them prosthetics and, and upgrade them. You know, like a bionic super elephant, I think would be incredible. And definitely an asset to the colony here. Basically, I'm going to say it. I say it a lot in CQ2. We're going to play tall. We're going to take what we've got and improve upon that rather than trying to incorporate new things into the base, at least temporarily. If we get new colonists and new villagers, that's great, but I want to focus on our main sort of four survivors. Those boys are going to go bionic. We are going to, we're going to try and buff these guys up as much as possible and keep them around till the end. All right, this is bad. So you might remember we dismantled those coolers in order to get more steel to probably build the sewage. Um, now we've got a heat wave. So, ha, huh, shit. Uh, we're going to have to ventilate the base again, basically. A little bit annoying, seeing as we'd almost finished off the geothermal generator, which will solve all of our power problems for the uh, for the near future, to be honest with you. I don't think we need to worry about anything else after that. Let's get ourselves some more coolers in that case. Fantastic. Um, now, those vents equalize temperature anyway. So, all we really need is two there. I might even go ahead and... and let's forbid that. Use the steel a bit more sensibly... On the coolers in that case, my friend. Uh, do we even have enough? No, we don't have enough steel quite yet. Oh my god, they're 90 each? Holy shit. So, we don't really need to micromanage the colonists in the event of a heat stroke. Because if they get too hot, they'll automatically go to somewhere where there's a safe temperature. So, the fridge, for example, is going to remain at uh, minus 8. And they can always hide in there if they get too hot. Disease sensory mechanites. Oh my god. Um, Elrang has been infected by sensory mechanites of all things. So this is basically one of the worst infections you can get. There's no sort of indication when they'll end. Uh, it's pain plus 20%. Sight plus 50%. This is how much they're hindered, I should say. Hearing is hindered by 50%. Talking is hindered by 50%. He doesn't have a jaw anyway, so he definitely can't talk now. Um, oh shit, what about his eating? Very poor, so it doesn't actually affect his eating. Thank God for that, otherwise he would literally starve to death in this scenario. Um, manipulation and tiredness is fucked. God damn it. Why Elrang of all people? He's the one we needed to... Oh, okay, let's work on this hospital room. This one? This is now a hospital. Medical. Um, no, no not, not for prisoners. Medical for nice boys. Let's go ahead and build a um, hospital bed as well then. What do we need for that? We need fucking steel of all things. Ah! Um, plasteel hospital bed. We don't have enough plasteel either. 
What about a pure silver one? 400 silver, 80. Um, what about the vitals monitor? We need 50 steel for that as well. It might be necessary. Um, honestly, it's not life-threatening at all. It's just very inconvenient. So we don't really need it right now. Um, although it would be very, very helpful. Everqueen, you can come back and heal up Elrang. We do have some medicine, or at least we did. Where's it gone? Oh, it just hasn't been hauled into the base yet. Okay, fair enough. Right. Can this be harvested? How close are we? Not ideal temperature, because it's way too warm. It's killing off our heal root. Although some of it has almost grown there. Okay, 100% grown. Nice. So, in theory, Jerry King will be over on that in no time. Jerry King, you're not allowed to train animals. Honestly. Well, you are allowed to train animals, but I'd prefer it if you uh, did your job and grew our crops first, if you don't mind. That would be better. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry King. You are an asset to the team. This won't he? You incredible man, working through the night there to ensure that him and his fellow colonists do not scorch to death in this unbearable heat. We'll leave those at 21 degrees. They, they've got a good target there, so that's fine. That should hopefully help. Look at that. The temperature's dropping inside the base. Okay, we're safe. Whoo! Last thing I'd want is uh, my elephant and my boar to cook. Although it doesn't seem to be actually passing through properly into that room. Oh no, it is. It is actually dropping. Although not as much as you'd expect from such a major door. We'll build a, a vent just to help, uh, help things along there. Excellent. Um, the elephant's outside devouring all of the grass in the world. Now, this is the issue with keeping a, a, a rhino and an elephant and a boar. A lot of the natural grasses, trees, things like that is going to be absolutely devoured. So, what are we going to do about that? We could. You know what we could do? We could grow them some hay grass. And actually, in this area, we'll just let that grow into hay grass. Don't need to harvest it or anything like that because the animals will just eat it automatically. That seems like not a bad plan to me. Now, we should also probably sow that so it grows quicker so the animals always have something to eat. Uh, what is that? That's under floors, isn't it? That's tilled soil? Yeah, it is. There we go. Nice. Okay, well, I'll cancel that. I don't really want it built in the mountain, if you don't mind. All right, excellent. Now, unfortunately, the reason the base is getting so hot is because the animals are walking through this door and letting all the heat in basically every single time. So I'm actually going to double layer this so it acts as sort of like an airlock style um, heat prevention system and we're also gonna build another doormat as well to ensure that all the dirt is kept outside the house these fucking animals they're seriously they are actually gonna kill us dead and that's not even too far from being the truth um you are gonna have to work on that immediately does won't he uh everqueen work on the doormat as well or at least deliver the resources to it let's get this done all right um everqueen finish the doors does won't he i said uh finish the walls if you don't mind too so that these animals don't fucking end our lives by cooking us all all right, let's get that last door done. And then, you know what? I don't mind about the doormat too much. Who's our best builder right now? Um, our best builder is Elrang. Oh, Dizwani's has got 13 out of 20. Holy shit, he's really built his skills up. Nice, okay. And that should hopefully... Yeah, it's, it's not working incredibly well, but it, it is okay for what we need it to do. Now, the way we could have done that a little bit more efficiently is actually... And I'm going to do it as well um, as the sort of final thing here is just move the door further out, because these doors have chance to open before these doors have chance to shut. So I'll tidy this up. Thank you for watching. Big shout out to the top tier patrons, Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Halting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Van Ders, Josh Lindin Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired Seed, James Ogilvy, Escape, Jackson Whitman, and of course, everybody else as well. Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Antoniak, Necrophilin, Felix Steele, Princess, Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noble Esquit, Lutchley, Zarevan, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Chief Palpatine, I'm the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Yoran de Vries, Euphrates, The Clinic 217, Jordan Campbell, Asro, Anthony, thank you all for your support. This has been a weird episode. It's gone up and it's gone down. Jerry King died, he returned. This is what his wife died, but he got himself a pet boar. Prince Rhino and D Elephant turned up in our base. Is it fate? Did I hack it in? Oh, well, I didn't. It was just it was just a coincidence. But, you know, we are on the type of map that would attract elephants and rhinos. So that was going to happen sooner or later anyway. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next episode.